Well, the results in Florida could reverberate throughout the rest of the country in the midterms with a Trump-backed candidate facing off against one backed by socialist Bernie Sanders. Here now to discuss is Brad Blakeman, former Bush 43 senior staffer, and Robin Biro, former Obama campaign regional field director. Gentlemen, great to see you both. Uh, Robin, first to you. We just, we just had Kevin Hassett on. I don't know if you heard, but these new economic stats are pretty impressive. I mean, uh, GDP that's, that's growing over 4%. We got, it's, it's a broad-based economic growth that's happening in the country. Is this really the right time to come out with a socialist message? Uh, this is not uh, not how uh, we anticipated this going, uh, but we've got it now, uh, whether or not we like it. You know, I was not a supporter of Bernie Sanders. I, uh, I kind of was pap I was happy a couple weeks ago when six out of seven of Bernie's selected candidates lost, and uh, now we've got to kind of face the music because it's basically Bernie's pretty much invisibly on the ticket now, uh, if you look at this race. So no, it's not really the best timing for us, especially, I'm glad the economy is doing well, but you know, we're gonna have a tough road ahead, especially because yeah. we're being outspent so much. It's true. The spending is, is, is one issue. But, Brad, the, the, the reason why we're growing so much, a lot of people would argue, including myself, I've been pushing for tax cuts for a while, is because we had tax cuts. Uh, whereas Gillum has this, uh, Gillum is the guy in, in Florida who's running against DeSantis, who's backed by Bernie Sanders. He's, he's coming out with this major spending plan, and we, he was on Fox News earlier. We asked him how he was going to pay for it all. Here's what he answered. What we have proposed is an increase in the corporate tax rate, which in the state of Florida is lower than our neighboring states of Alabama and Georgia. Uh, right now we're at five and a quarter and we've uh, suggested going up to just over seven, which puts us in line with many other states. And part of what we've, it creates a billion dollars uh, in funding for our public education system. So, Brad, the reason we have an economic boom is because we cut taxes, or at least one of the big reasons. He wants to raise taxes, which arguably would, would set us on the opposite course. There is no doubt. And I'm down here in Florida, and when I ask people, hey, you have no income tax, you want an income tax? You want your sales tax to go up? You want your corporate tax to go up? They go, hell no. Florida is booming. And why would you turn that clock back with a socialist Democrat like Gillum? And by the way, he won by dividing and conquering on a crowded field. He only got 34 percent of the vote. Uh, DeSantis in a two-man race got 56 percent of the vote. So th this guy doesn't have the popularity. Uh, he doesn't have the issues. And running in Florida, raising taxes is not the prescription for victory. Well, Robin, and he thinks he has, doing well. He thinks he has one issue on immigration. He thinks that uh, his calls for the end of ICE uh, will get support from a lot of the immigrants. But the immigrants in Florida, I, I, a lot of those that I know from, from Cuba, from Nicaragua, from Venezuela, these are people who escaped socialism. They don't want to see an end to ICE. Right. They don't want to see taxes you go bet. up. They're pretty conservative. Yeah, and they're law-abiding. Hold on, that's for Robin. Go ahead, this Robin. Is a no, yeah. This is a no-go. And, you know, Nancy Pelosi, we just had the summer meeting, uh, the DNC did, and they basically said, stay away from immigration. And here he is going right into the, the, the mucky waters here. Uh, and it's really not a good situation for us. And the abolish ICE thing is just terrible optics for us, uh, especially when they fail to, to talk about that the real cause is to replace it with something better mm. and more efficient. Now, All Brad, they ever hear is abolish ICE. I'm wondering if womp you get womp. a little nervous when you hear a Democrat. Of course, Robin is a, is a centrist Democrat who, who makes a lot, a lot more sense than some of his colleagues. But I mean, when you hear somebody speaking negatively about the, the race in Florida from his side, does that make you a little nervous? No, because he's speaking the truth. And, but and what I'm, uh, what I'm wondering is maybe a lot of Republicans will say, OK, so he's a shoe in DeSantis is a shoe in We won't go no. out and vote for him. <laughs> Uh, no, absolutely not. We've got to run like we're 20 points behind. And by the way, not only are taxes going to go up, but he wants to pay for uh, health care that's free for everybody. Mm. How the heck is he going to do that? Uh, there isn't enough money uh, in Florida to pay for the kind of health care that he's promising people. So uh, it, Bernie's not going to be invisible here in Florida. He is going to be pegged as, as uh, the new Bernie Sanders right. of Florida. Brad and, and Robin, I've said it before. If you were running in Florida, you, you, you might win. But uh, I don't know about this other guy. We'd Thank be scared you. of him. <laughs> Thank yeah. you very much, gentlemen. We'll Good see. to see you both.